How's everyone doing today? We have for you today an unboxing of this Autel digital inspection camera. This is the MV108, which is the upgraded version of the 105. I do not believe it has a better resolution, although I'm not sure. Um, maybe it does, but it's the upgraded version. They're not that different in price. From what I checked, uh, the 105 I found for like 45 bucks and the 108 was like 50 bucks. So it's basically, I would say the same thing, but I like everything with a higher number. So I specifically requested, uh, to get the 108 just because it had a higher number than the 105. Well, and it was $5 more expensive from what I found, um, just to, uh, be completely clear this thing came free from uh it wasn't sponsored or anything like that it came free with the purchase of this uh, super expensive uh autel uh, maxicom system the mk908p which uh, just came out this year i will be uh uploading a video on that as well the unboxing and uh, going through all the menus and all that good stuff and playing around with it on my cars um, but uh, for now, let's uh, jump into this box and rip it open. So, comes in this not such a bad uh, box. Looks uh, kind of, you know, professional. Uh, Alto looks seemingly stepped their game up recently with uh, all of their offerings. I mean, that kit alone is uh, uh, pretty fancy. So, as we see right away, we have our, what I imagine is the main unit or main processing unit, I'm not sure. I've never unboxed this before, so that's empty now ahead and throw that off to the side so here's what we have here so let's take a look see that's why I couldn't pull it out because it's connected all right so do these open or what are we talking about here here we go oh here we go this opens up other side does not. Oh, see? You see the bottom open there. So what we have here is... That's empty now, so... Get rid of that. Uh, print? Uh, cool looking. I mean, this thing is kind of uh, has some heft to it. This is the USB. From what I understand, it can plug into a number of different systems, including the uh, Maxicom, uh, because it has a standard uh, USB 2.0 plug. Uh, and it can also plug into your laptop. So if you have a car diagnostics laptop, you can uh, use this as a scope. So uh, should we go ahead and uh, try it out? I have never plugged this in before, full disclosure, as uh, I just opened it in front of you guys. Uh, let's see, it also comes with some attachments. Oh, I do believe that's a mirror in there. Kind of cool, like a periscope sort of thing that's interesting all right check that out a little later and the main unit which has a very nice snake wherever you set it that's where it stays so a little bit up a little bit down and that's where it stays pretty cool right this is the camera apparently it has a flash on it check that out i'm not sure how to get it to focus i see that yellow part over there it looks like it has a flash hmm i don't know why it's not focusing but 
Yeah, I have no idea. But anyway, um, trust that it does. So, let's see how this connects. Uh -huh. So it has a little pin on the inside there where this pin goes into. So let's see if we can... Okay. Let me just screw that up. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, wrong way. Okay. Screw this bad boy on. Okay, so now we have the whole thing connected. Let's see if we can make it work. getting there. This thing's supposed to have like a 15 or 20 second uh, boot up time from off to scanning. So you just go up and right away you're in the diagnostics mode. So let's see if we can find anything that resembles a camera. So I assume it's the digital inspection, right? Not connected. Okay, here goes nothing. Whoa. Boom, look at that. We have light. How cool is this as a free gift? Look at that. Unbelievable. This thing is great. There's our... Look at that. Look at that. Very, very cool. So, as you spin this thing around, you get some, you know, you get it to show straight, which is not going to be necessary for when you're inside a cylinder or anything like that. So, there you guys have it. It works. I hope you guys can see it on the tablet screen there, but uh, it's on. It works. And uh, it's great. Uh, I wonder if there's a way to shut off the flash, which I don't know of yet. And this thing did not come with instructions. So apparently there's a switch camera, which I guess switches from this camera to the back one. Oh, uh, no. Video or camera, okay? Uh, take picture slash record and your photos that you've already taken. So, uh, it doesn't appear to be a way to turn off the flash, but it's not going to get in the way. If you don't need it, you don't need it. Uh, that's about it, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm going to be trying this thing out on uh, my vehicles, and uh, we'll see how it works in uh, the day-to-day -day grind, but... Uh, as of now, on the table, it looks fantastic. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.